Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Enjoying the Journey, Cancer as a Lifestyle. So today I have a couple of things. One for our challenge of this month is household items. So I made a whole bunch of washcloths. Um, in our home, washcloths are really like the thing, you know, we love our washcloths. My son has been wanting me to make him some since he moved into his own place there and uh, I made these several days ago and they've been sitting here in a pile and he's been eyeing them every time he comes over so I was like man I better get this video done because he's gonna snatch these up and I won't have anything to show so I used I have about five of them and I made them I haven't even look I haven't even done the ends yet um, I used the yarn bee sugar wheel cotton solid in um, the color mint tea and this is the one that I picked up at the uh, clearance just a few uh, months ago so I kind of wish that I bought more of these I remember I only took like two and because um, I wasn't sure like you know oh what am I going to do with all this cotton but then you know what I should have picked it up that one that one row which was uh, five ounces, 335 yards, made me, let's see, one, two, three, four, nice size, nice size. Some of them are wider, you know, washcloths, uh, dish towels, whatever. I like to use them in the kitchen. Uh, so I got a lot out of them. And you know what? I really like the feel of this cotton over all the others. So I really am happy with this one. I think they have, I hope, I wonder what it looks like after you wash it. I hope it doesn't have that, um, like a lot of the cotton, uh, after, you know, a lot of my dishcloths, my older ones are like kind of really hardened, you know, they got hard. So I got four here for him. My go-to stitch is half double crochet because I like them to be a little more sturdier, but I did do a couple in double crochet so and I feel that they're softer so let's see maybe they'll be more absorbent but anyway I can pass this on to him he's been eyeing these forever and then Terry I made a smaller one Terry Nana's crochet ideas when she sent me all the scraps they were like two little tiny balls of cotton and actually you can't tell but it's two different colors in here <laughs> the middle one the middle square here is one color and then the outer is a separate color itself it's got these little flecks in here colors so I you know I thought you know what that's good size for him to, to do his dishes so that's what I did for the monthly challenge he can take this now because he's been like you know looking at him like he wants him now so the other thing I wanted to talk about is this month we are celebrating um, nine years with our crocheting ministry. Actually, we had our very first meeting on August 16 of um, 2013. So uh, I just realized that suddenly this week that, you know, oh my gosh, it's our anniversary and I didn't even post anything on the ministry page. But so I thought I would do a tally. I've always wanted to do a tally. I do have a notebook where I keep all the info of where we donate, who's, you know, uh, who the, uh, you know, who uh, uh, some of the ladies were, when we had our meetings, what we talked about, like kind of all the minutes of the ministry are in there, the different charities that we've donated to, but I've not really kept like a up-to-date kind of uh, tally of how much we made of every item. Now, I will tell you, I thought we had we done more than what we did and I think maybe because the first couple years I think the first year I had about 25 ladies wanting to join and uh, they wanted to there were a lot of young ladies at the church who were wanting to learn how to crochet and I taught a lot of people how to crochet in in the beginning but they learned and they went and just because someone is crocheting doesn't mean that maybe they you know like make tons of stuff I realized that over the years in the last several years uh, there was a steady flow of us uh, four ladies and I think we produced more than the whole group in the beginning because they were learning you know they were all learning they were here to really just learn 
and learn how to crochet and then they kind of like went on their own in the last two years it's just been my has been myself uh, Terry has joined me uh, we moved here from Chicago to Central Illinois and I have not done anything with the ministry in like starting a new group uh, you know I have not done any of that since moving here now I have been asked many times if I ever plan to start it up here um, I am actually really seriously thinking of opening it up to a group again where I invite uh, you know whoever wants to participate and you know uh, in the group so we'll see how that goes but for the last two years since we moved here I've not really done anything and neither have any of my ladies from the other when in Chicago we kind of um, you know they just never went anywhere else that I know of and sometimes they'll even send me a box of things uh, so yeah it was kind of sad that we all kind of like broke up <laughs> like a band but anyway here's my tally and I did it according to how many pieces we have made so it's not as much as as I would have liked so my goal is to increase it. Now, I watch Jane from Scraptastic Yarns, and her ministry is huge compared to mine. I can see that. If, she, if they bring in about 400 items a month, that's a huge ministry. That is huge. Maybe one day I'll be as big as Jane's uh, prayer show. But number one on the list was hats. We made 1,575 hats. Now, I have said this over and over again. Hats, you can donate anywhere. Anyone will take hats. Schools, uh, you know, different charities, because everybody needs a hat. Hats and blankets are the two items that you can, everybody will accept. Not so much other things, like, you know, if you have dish towels or if you have, uh, you know, shawls and things like that, you have to look for ministries that will actually use that. Baby blankets were number two with 830 baby blankets. In the beginning, in the first several years, we've had an actual uh, hospital that we would donate to on a regular basis almost every month from four to six weeks uh, and uh, regularly. They ended up shutting down and um, we did not go. And then, then we just make random ones, um, you know, and I would donate them outside to different you know across the 50 states slippers came in third with 724 slippers slash booties I started the ministry basically officially maybe a year or two before the um, actual date uh, where I made slippers for a children's hospital which I made 665 pairs and so the 724 are pairs crosses now these were little pocket crosses and inside uh, there were like these little pockets we would make uh, out of canvas put a cross in and then we would put a little a little poem in there about being a Christian and uh, those we made 710 and those were donated mostly to uh, retirement uh, facilities for um, uh, for uh, seniors uh, Terry is actually working on them now and I only have one lady that loved to make those. Scarves. Scarves came in at 611 scarves that we have made over the years. Mostly those scarves were for children. Afghan slash blankets, 185. I never had much success with um, ladies wanting to really make a lot of blankets. They made a lot of baby blankets. And I think because you tend to, uh, a blanket is kind of like, it takes you a while. And a lot of people don't like to work on projects that take them a long time. So they much rather make like uh, lap blankets or they like to make baby blankets because they're much smaller. So 185 blankets. And we did not really start with blankets till halfway through our ministry. We only made, you know, so many. Headbands, 148 headbands mostly to children and to cancer patients and with nice little decoration. Shawls is another thing that we have just started not too long ago and that was 91 only. That's all we got and mostly for seniors. That's what we donate. Homeless mats, 77 
and I am the only one that makes those homeless mats. Each mat takes about 500 regular uh, grocery bags that you get in the store. I really thought I made more because my hands feel like I made a lot more. Receiving blankets. I had a seamstress that used to, I had a couple seamstresses, a quilter and a seamstress, and uh, two seamstresses, and I had a lay, and she only was here for about a year, and she used to uh, make, uh, sew um, receiving blankets, and that was 64. Stuffed animals, and that's a variation, not just animals, some of them were dolls. I had a lady, a young lady that really was creative in making dolls and, and uh, with crochet. Uh, so that was 59. Wheelchair bags, and these were not crocheted. These were again uh, with, um, sewn with fabric. Uh, occasionally I would get a donation of material and fabric. So I had a seamstress that would make these wheelchair bags for me. But I never really got too much of the uh, fabric to really do anything more. So we made only 36 of those. Now this next set is really, I think they were all donated at one time, but it was a one-time kind of deal. Scrubbies, 17. Lovies, 14. Pot holders, 12. And they were crochet. Throw pillows, 11. Dish towels, 11. And that was more or less uh, like maybe two or three only donations that were specifically for, for a group that dealt with um, wanted household items. And that's it. And one fingerless mittens, you guys. Just one. <laughs> so that's our tally. Not, not as high as I thought I, it was. It seems like we made so much more and we probably did here and there add some more you know but um, yeah it seems there are top ones were hats definitely and now it's turning into blankets I will tell you that I have been making more blankets and hats and I think baby blankets well baby blankets not as much anymore but yeah so anyway you guys thank you so much for watching I will have the list up on the page. Uh, give me a couple days because I am heading out of town uh, as I close up this video. So <laughs> give me a couple days to come back and put it all together on the, the Facebook page. But if you ever wanted to see like some of the people that were in the ministry, um, a lot of young people were in a, a lot of young girls. And some of them were even under like the age of 10 that I taught. So um yeah, you can scroll back. There's got to go way back in the beginning to see a lot of this stuff. But uh, if you can get a kind of glance as what some of the ladies, you know, what they look like. And and uh, I even did a little of a bio about each one. So anyway, have a wonderful uh, week and I will see you soon. Bye.